St. Boniface Church, located on Wabash Avenue, is a well-known landmark of the west side. It is famous for its twin steeples, both reaching a height of 175 feet. The idea of St. Boniface first came to light in 1878 in the home of Charles Schulte. Augustus Rosenberger, Henry Reitman, Adam Helfrich, and Theodore Recton all met at Schulte's and began to lay plans for the new church. Soon, a plot of land on Wabash Avenue was purchased for $5,000. Work began immediately, and on September 4, 1881, following a parade, the cornerstone was laid. St. Boniface Catholic Church was built for the German-speaking Catholics of the West Side. It looked very similar to the church today, but its steeples reached a magnificent height of 202 feet and did not have the gabled dormers that can be seen on the north and south sides of St. Boniface today. When lightning struck the back of the church on the night before Easter Sunday in 1902, the old St. Boniface was completely lost to the flames. Plans were immediately made to rebuild the church. November of 1903 saw the completion and dedication of the new St. Boniface Catholic Church. The west side had its beautiful landmark once again. The church today is a mix of both Byzantine and Roman architectural styles, best explained by the Romanesque church style. The facade of the church is home to the alcove in which a statue of St. Boniface, the patron saint of Germany, stands. The statue of St. Boniface is also in between two columns topped with beautiful capitals that support the arch he is standing under. Just above him is the rose window. The other stained glass windows of the church are round arch windows, a common theme of the Romanesque style. Above most of the windows are thin limestone arches, and the uppermost windows have a large limestone arch. The entrance of the church is an arcade, with three lunettes being stained glass windows surrounded by simple archivolts. Above the middle entrance, St. Boniface is clearly displayed in limestone. On the left side of the name is 1881, the year the church was originally built, and on the right side is 1902, the year the church burned down and construction on the new one began. Simple yet elegant molding can also be found underneath the statue of St. Boniface. Above the rose window, the gable has unique corbelled brickwork that complements the round arch windows. Topping the gable off is a simple cross finial. The steeples extend well above the gable and are also topped with simple cross finials. Lightning rods are on the top of these finials, so there is not a repeat of the 1902 fire. On each section of the tower, small corbels can be seen in the brickwork. On the north and south side of the church, buttresses can be seen between the tall stained glass windows for support. Gabled dormers, not on the original St. Boniface, are also part of the church. Also on both sides of the church are small apses. On the north front side of the church, behind the apse, is the entrance to the grotto. Built in 1914, the grotto is modeled after the Sanctuary of Our Lady of the Lord Shrine in Lourdes, France. The grotto was donated by Jacob Fishers and is located underneath the church. St. Boniface remains a magnificent church. It rose from the ashes and became a gorgeous landmark and source of pride for all Catholics and those living on the west side.